We love the scent of rainfalls on dry soil, which is the meaning of petrichor. In the base game, you are a cloud and you can control rainfalls and more. Now we have a new responsibility looking after the cows. This is petrichor cows expansion. In this video, we'll show you a quick how to play, mainly focusing on what the petrichor cows expansion brings to the base game. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Liverpool University. We're using prototype of the game, so the rules and components are not final. Now let's get to the table. Coming to Kickstarter, Petricor Cows is the third expansion to the 2018 tactical area control game Petricor. It was designed by David Kierkop and published by Mighty Boards. The game plays two to four players in 20 to 80 minutes, with five players in the previously released Flowers expansion, and has a solo mode designed by David Turchi. The game is of medium complexity. As in the base game, players command the clouds and the rain by taking actions over between four and six rounds to manipulate their own raindrops by placing them into clouds and trying to make them rain onto the crops below. Whenever there is a harvest, players then score points for majorities on the different crops. Players also vote each round on the global weather effects that they want to resolve and score points for contributing to winning votes. And the player with the most points wins. The Cows expansion brings several new mechanics to the game. Introduced are the cows themselves and the new grazing card. A grazing action means that the cow eats, deposits some fertilizer before you move it off to a new location. The presence of cows and fertilizer will increase the number of points gained when that tile is harvested, so players will need to manipulate the cows into the positions most advantageous to them. But the grazing of cows has another side effect. Methane production. Represented by the black crystals, methane is a common resource which is emitted into the clouds when cows graze. It never rains back down to earth, but it is still counted when determining the number of drops in a cloud. Players can collect the methane from the clouds when taking a grazing action. And this has three uses. Two methane can be spent as if they were a second card when taking a multiple card action. One methane can be spent to enhance a rain action. And at the end of each round, the player who holds the most methane becomes the climate leader. The climate leader directs the game's new climate phase. Agricultural methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and so at the end of the round, the amount of methane in all the clouds is counted up and compared with this table to shift the climate either hotter or colder. This then gives the climate leader a bonus as shown on the right here. Either two points if the weather stays temperate or some tactical bonuses on the board if the weather is either hot or cold. Finally, the cows expansion adds four new tree tiles of which you usually use two in a game. And each of these trees will score differently depending on the climate at the time of the harvest. This means players will need to carefully watch and manage the methane levels and the climate in order to score the best points from these new tree tiles. Overall, Cows adds a huge amount of additional depth to the already neatly balanced game of Petricor. It is compatible with both the Flowers and Honeybee expansions, and the solo modes are also compatible across the expansions. And that's a quick how to play of Petricor Cows expansion board game. Hope you enjoyed the video. At the time of filming, the Cows expansion is soon going to Kickstarter, so we will put a link in the description below when it's live so you can check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. You can do that also by hitting the meeple in the corner, and don't forget to hit bell icon so you'll know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me for my board games journey on Instagram. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time!